Uh, third question for you. Much has been made really about having a seat at the table for the CIO. Um, I, I'd just like to hear your, your thoughts on the right reporting structure uh, or critical relationships that the healthcare CIO needs to foster in order to be effective. Mm -hmm. and, uh, a couple points. One, um, if you can't and don't report to the CEO, I think the COO is probably the best other C-suite leader to report to because the COO sees everything ultimately from an operational perspective and IT sees everything as well. So I, I have found that good alignment when I report to the COO. Um, the CFO uh, has a much broader role than they did at one point. They're not just counting the dollars. They have uh, a strategy role. They're often the point person for mergers and acquisitions. Um, you know, they're looking at, you know, new revenue opportunities as well as how to cut costs. Um, so, important partner if you don't report to the CFO to work closely with the CFO. Um, obviously, for EHR implementations or optimization, the, the, um, uh, the three-person leadership team of the CIO, CMO, and CNO are really critical. Um, those have to be good relationships, and CMO and the CNO have to have a very strong relationship. And I have learned from um, my husband, who is a minister, you can't fix a relationship that you're not in. And if your CMO and CNO don't get along, remember that one, right? Um, and don't get triangles into relationships either. So if the CMO and CNO don't get along well, which sometimes happens in organizations, it's very hard for you to have that strong three-person team. But do what you can to make that work. The last thing I would say is there's all these new roles that are coming in. Um, you know, the chief digital officer, the chief analytics officer, the chief innovation officer, um, I tease for a later thing. Um, if you go into an organization and those roles are there, figure out how to work with those people um, and partner with them. If they're not there, figure out how much of that is going to be your role as the CIO. Yeah, it really, I mean, it's such a collaborative role and a convener kind of role that it's, uh, yeah. um, you, you really are, it's a relationship role. In fact, I had one person uh, say to me, you know, did you get into this because you love technology? I'm like, I got into technology because I love technology, but you don't become a CIO because you love technology. You, that's not the role. Uh, it's, yeah. it is, it's a people and a leadership role, and that's, that's what it is.